Let's learn how to create your own with the step by step tutorial for leaflet maps with Google Sheets. We'll follow the first four steps here about making your own copy of the template, publishing it, and pasting the link over. And before you begin, make sure you have a Google Drive account and a GitHub account and understand the concepts of how to use them. Okay, let's go up here and we'll click open the template for leaflet maps with Google Sheets. And first thing we need to do is to sign in to our GitHub account. So I'll go ahead and do that here. Get your free GitHub account at github.com for your code repositories. Okay, now I'm signed in. And if I want to prove that to myself here, up in the upper right corner, I can go up uh, here and just make sure that I am signed in as the account I just logged into. And I want to hit that fork button. That's going to create a copy, an automatic copy of this over to my account. So it's forking a copy of the original template. And here I can prove that I've got it in my account forked from the original version. Let's go over to settings. And we need to publish our code with GitHub Pages. That's how you host code on the web for free. You click down to the master branch, hit save, and we'll scroll back down again to that same section, GitHub Pages, and that's the link where it's gonna be published. We'll right click to copy that link. That's to the map. Let's go back, um, whoops, go back up here to our leaflet map template, the top level in our GitHub. And let's go to the readme file and let's go over and click to edit that file. And remember, we've got that link to our map. So we want to replace the link that's there with the link to our map. And let's just remove that one and paste in. You can see it begins with the GitHub account for the account I logged into and always commit to save the changes. OK, now we've got to go with the Google Sheet template. This is the second template the leaflet map template in the Google Sheet. Let's right click to open that in a new tab. And here we are in the leaflet maps with Google Sheets template. And first we have to do is sign in to our Google account. I'll go ahead and do that. Click that little next button there. Okay, I've signed in to this Leaflet Maps with Google Sheets template, um, but it's still view only. So I need to make a copy. Go to File and Make a Copy, automatically making a copy to your drive. And I'm going to change the name of it. I'm going to type in My Leaflet Maps, and you could put it in any folder. It's wise to make a subfolder for these things. But let's go ahead, and now I've got my version of this. It's on my drive, okay. First thing you need to do is need to share it. Remember, by default, these are private. So I'm going to click the Share button. And I'm going to go to Advanced. And I'm just going to change it from Private. I'm going to change that so that anyone with the link can view it. And click Done. That's important so people can see my data later on. Now, I also need to go to File. And I need to Publish to the web. This is so the leaflet map code can actually read it. And I just want to go to the Link button, the defaults there, and hit Publish and hit OK. It's going to suggest a link to me, but I don't want that one. Instead, I want the link that's right at the top of the page. It ends with the edit hashtag, usually a GID code. So I'm going to copy that link. And let me close the old version there. So I've just got my leaflet. I'll go back to the code here. And here I'm back into the, the GitHub version. I want to be at the make sure I'm at that top so I can go into the readme again. And I'm going to click that README. I want to go edit the README. I've got the link to my Google Sheet. And I want to replace the template version and paste in the version I just did. And just make sure the last few digits match. Make sure you got the right one. OK. I still have that link to my new Google Sheet. I have to go to the top of my GitHub. And this is the most important step. Look for Google Doc URL .js. This is just one line of code that I need to edit. And I need to paste in the link right in the middle here to my published Google Sheet. I'm being careful to keep the punctuation, the quotation mark at the beginning, and the quotation mark and the semicolon at the end. But now it's got my link in there. So now my Google Sheet is linked to my leaflet map. Okay, That's the setup. 
So let's go back to the top here and okay, I'm into my README here. I should be able to go click and open up my leaflet map in a new tab. Now at first glance, it's gonna look like the same old map from the default, but let's go over and test it. I'm in my Google Sheets now. Let's change the title. I'll change it from a demo to my own. And let's go back over it. Let's refresh the page. And this happens quickly. There it is. Proof of concept. Changes you make in the Google Sheet will transfer over. And you can change options. You can change map points, polygons, more than one polygon, and multiple polylines as well. Options is the main one to take care of your map settings and read the tutorial to learn more. Always make changes and refresh.